The president is downplaying the special counsel Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling and said the charges against his former campaign aides are tweeting, the fake news is working overtime. As Paul Manafort's lawyer said, there was no collusion and events mentioned took place long before he came to the campaign. Few people knew the young, low-level volunteer named George Papadopoulos, who has already been proven to be a liar. Check the Dems. Fact check. The charges against Paul Manafort actually stretch from 2006 to 2017 to this year. As for George Papadopoulos, he was brought onto the Trump campaign as a foreign policy advisor in early March of 2016 and was told at the time, according to the indictment, that the campaign sought better relations with Russia, again, early March of last year. He then took a meeting almost immediately in Italy with a man who professed to have good relations or good connections with the Russians. On March the 21st of last year, the president identified him himself as one of his advisors on his foreign policy team during an interview with the editorial board of the Washington Post newspaper. Here's the audio from that. Waleed Ferris, who you probably know, uh, PhD advisor to the House of Representatives Caucus and uh, is a counterterrorism expert. Uh, Carter Page, PhD. Uh, George Papadopoulos, uh, he's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. Energy consultant, e e excellent guy. That was March the 21st of 2016. Remember, Gates and Mueller pleaded not guilty. If I misspoke, for that I apologize, not guilty. So this is March the 16th of last year. Ten, March the 21st of last year. Ten days later, as we reported yesterday, the president sent by Instagram this photo of the group he called his national security meeting. We've circled George Papadopoulos there. According to the indictment, after that photo opportunity, Papadopoulos had multiple meetings with Russians in person, by Skype, and by email, while in contact with campaign officials. Papadopoulos offered to set up a meeting between Trump and Putin. It didn't happen. In August of last year, a campaign official encouraged Papadopoulos to make a trip to Russia to meet with officials if feasible. He never did. Again, according to the indictment, on January 27th of this year, the FBI interviewed him. During that interview, he lied about the timing of his meetings with the Russians. He told the FBI he was not on the campaign team when those meetings happened. That was also a lie to which he now admits. On July the 27th, the FBI arrested him. Then 38 days later, he pleaded guilty. During all or part of those 38 days, he was, as it was described in the indictment, a proactive cooperator in the FBI investigation. And he is still cooperating.